Hey guys, Rocky from Camping World of West Hatfield, Massachusetts here. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day so far. I got another great unit to show you guys today. This one's a Forest River Salem. So grab your bag of popcorn and come check this one out. All right, guys, so here it is. This is a 2024 Forest River Salem 178 BHSK. Um, this is a new and upgraded version of a super popular bunk model floor plan that they've been offering up and uh, many of our customers have enjoyed for years now. So we're greeted by this beautiful new front cap with the, with the windshield, automotive style windshield that's really going to let a lot of light in, looking very cool. We have the beautiful LED strip on the front. I think that's pretty futuristic looking, guys. Let me know what you think of that down in the comments. Checking out the storage compartment. This is accessible from our interior uh, door here. So that'll open up right there. And look at all this storage, guys. It is a wood frame unit. We got our solar charging on the side here. Taking on a quick look at the outside, we got this beautiful grab handle here. Help me get in real nice. We got our on-demand hot water heater, outside shower for the doggos or the kiddos, 110 outlets, and check out this outside kitchen. This model is really going to fit a lot of stuff into a smaller space, and I think that's why it's been such a popular model over the years. We got our Everchill drink fridge uh, down in the outside kitchen here. We got the Suburban griddle that's going to pop out for you. You can cook your breakfast, your bacon and eggs. And we even got USB ports here, guys, to charge your devices. So I poked the awning out a little bit just so you can see what that's like. We got the LED strip that's going to show you that. It's going to come out significantly more, but I do have another camper here. I don't want to cause any, any lot damage, guys, for the next owner on this thing. We would fix it anyways, but you, you get the gist. Um, so check out the back here. We got the Lippert ladder prep. We got the backup camera prep. It's even going to come with our... Spare tire on the back here. And I like when they put these bumpers on the on the back here, guys. So what that's going to do is when you hit a sharp incline, that's, that's what the camper is going to uh, bottom out first. So you're going to protect the rest of your beautiful camper here, guys. We got stabilizer jacks on all corners. We'll show you how to use all these connections. It's got the black tank flush here. And we even have a nice high up uh, sewage drain, which I personally think is a good idea. These cable-driven slide-outs are, are, are fantastic, guys. I know it's a, it's a hot topic right now in camping, um, but come on down here and play with it and, and see how it is. I like how they sound. I think they work good. They're lightweight, and they're easy to override. Um, so that's, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You won't offend me. Look at all the storage, guys. The front is nice and aerodynamic. And so that's the outside, guys. Now I'm going to throw you into the wide and see what you think of the inside of this camper. Um, we have this beautiful glass door here that's been getting a lot of love. Uh, as far as my customers go, they really like it. So let's check it out. We're greeted by this couch, which is also a Murphy bed, which is really going to make a big difference in this smaller size camper, guys. This one comes in right around 4,400 pounds dry weight. We got this uh, very nice and updated new dinette system. We got the storage underneath on both sides there. And I'm really digging this new table. So this is really going to be able to manipulate it always. I think Salem has some of the best dinettes in the industry, and they're known for it. So I can really just kind of throw this around. It can pivot on multiple uh, angles here, and it's pretty cool, guys. Check out the new Euro-style cabinets that they're throwing into these Salem's. We got the microwave up top, and these close up real nice. Beautiful uh, counter countertop with a good amount of space. We got the deep sink here. We got our suburban on-demand hot water heater control on the wall. They're going to include a Bluetooth speaker for you, and we got a nice glass cover on this Furion two burner stove top, and it's got the, the night light as well. Even more drawers here, the Forest River bag. And we still got our propane furnace down underneath. Moving right along to the refrigerator. Look at the size of this refrigerator, guys. It's absolutely massive. And it's really going to 
be able to do whatever you want, really, as far as all your snacks and foods and whatnot. We got the sweet uh, freezer down here. Can definitely fit a half gallon of, of mint chocolate chip ice cream, I would say. Check that out, guys. We got the oversized bunks here, and they're both going to provide windows. The top one's even giving you two windows here, which is just cool. That's awesome. Uh, it's a teddy bear bunk series, and you're even going to have USB charging up top. They got their own little nightlight here as well, which we can just turn off real easy. And look at all that bunk space, guys. Absolutely cool. Down underneath, if you got a dog, um, they can just kind of go right down there if they can fit, or a cat. It'd be a great spot for them. And we can even mount a TV on the wall here. Got all your connections up top. Check out the size of this bathroom, guys. No lack of storage either. And I like what they've done with the shower in this one. So you can definitely stand in here. And I'll go ahead and be a good Samaritan. Pop this right back up, guys. There's your shower head. We got the vent above with fan. I like when they do a vent even over the skylight. I'm, I'm personally a fan of that. And look at all this space, guys. I'm not even cresting that uh, that vent there. And like like you guys know, if you've been watching me for a bit, 510 on paper. We got this beautiful medicine cabinet. Outlets with GFI protection. And easy access to plumbing as well. The, the look on this door is pretty cool too, guys. It's got this kind of look to it. I think that's pretty unique. So let me know uh, what you what you think about the Salem 178 bunk model that's brand new. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, maybe comment, give me a like or a subscribe down below. And before I let you guys out of here, I'm going to actually show you how this Murphy bed works. So be right back with you. All right, guys, so here it is. And a Murphy bed in a unit of this size really makes a lot of sense. Because when you think about it, you only have so much seating area in these guys. So they give you a nice plush little pillow here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my little armrest. And it's pretty easy. Go ahead and grab this. And look at all the storage underneath. They, give you, they were nice enough to give you some solid totes as well to store some of your goodies. This will move right down. And then I'm just going to grab my mattress. And bring it right over. It's a queen size, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what the side looks like as well here. So we have little uh, pockets to put our, you know, waters and, and drinks and milk and books. And we have our 110 outlet on this side, and we have our outlet on this side as well. So if you got a CPAP machine, that's going to work well for you. And we even have a little outlet here. And then right here, I don't want to forget, we got our solar charge controller more outlets, and USB ports. And this light switch here is what is going to control the um, outside light, the LED strip you saw. So this is what it looks like, guys. The Salem 178. Um, look, peek through that little uh, windshield there. We got a nice little base camp peeking out. It's one of our, one of our customers here for service. Um, so it's rocky.lafreniere at campingworld.com. Um, give me a ring or an email on this one. I'd love to put it in your driveway. Thank you so much.